information you have about yourself, about where you are, about where you want to go, where you're stuck, and how do you then communicate that with your partner in a healthy and meaningful way? What would you like to add that I haven't covered? I think you've covered it all. I think um, it may take some active work against respectability pro- uh, politics and messages you've gotten and attitudes to actually come and register to be a part of this experience, but I definitely think that it's worth it. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't want to kind of minimize the difficulty it could be for some people to attend based on all the things that we talked about, um, but I do think that having done the work, um, I think it's worth it. Yeah, I know. I, I appreciate that you said that because I know for some, I, I recognize like us just being able to say the word sex and pleasure and orgasm and like women is, feel, may feel a little bit jarring just for, for people to be able to say that. Um, and people may feel a little bit of reticence or shame to say, hey, I've registered for sex positive you. Um, mm-hmm. But I, I want everybody who's listening, who's thinking about it to be fully affirmed. Like we, we, are psychologists, we're licensed psychologists, and we're both really good at what we do. And and what makes us really good at what we do is we recognize the importance of being able to create a safe space and to be able to um, create a space in which everybody feels welcome and respected no matter where you are in this journey, in this process. Um, and we, we intentionally kept it capped at 40 people so that we could have a more intimate, controlled space um, for people to come in. And so you don't have to tell anybody what you're going to do on Saturday, just say, oh, you know, I went to a women's empowerment workshop. You don't have to tell them mm-hmm. sex positive you until you leave mm-hmm. sex positive you as a new woman. And then you're going to be like, let me tell yes. all my girlfriends about it. <laughs> but, right. it, it what I yeah. but it, you know, take that first step for yourself. I really do believe that this work is so vital. It's so important. It's revolutionary. I, I um, have fun doing it. Lawanda and I have a good time doing it. I think you'll have a good time. I think it's a good investment for you um, if you're out there in the Houston area listening. So Saturday, March 24th, 11 to 3 p.m. at a hotel island here in Houston, right on Main Street. We hope to hear from you. Again, you can find us at uh, facebook.com forward slash sex positive you, S-E-X-P-O-S-I-T-I-V-E. You. you can find us at Instagram at Sex Positive You as well. You can find me um, on Twitter at Twitter at Dr. Nikki Knows. Uh, where are you, Luanda? Where can people find you? Uh, Dr. Luanda Hill on Instagram. Dr. Luanda Hill, all one word. All one word. L A W A N D A H I L L. And where can we find you, Tomas? Ain't nobody looking for you. Never mind. Just you can find me. <laughs> you can find me at the club. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, wow. So well, I'll tell you what. You won't oh, find wow. me, unfortunately. You won't find me there on March 24th at Sex Pop You. Because oh. y'all ain't thinking about brothers, apparently. No, I'm playing. <laughs> not, not yet. Okay. Not right. yet. Look Coming soon. <laughs> so, um, soon. Yeah, you can find me personally at All About Tomas, of course. And <laughs> you can find me, my company at Tomajan E N T. That's T O M A S I A N E N T. On Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, MySpace, all of them, Snapchat, everything. No, nobody. No, you're not. Anyway, I have oh my MySpace you're, fans. Yeah, yeah. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. So. It has been a pleasure, Dr. Luanda Hill, having you on the day, having this conversation. I hope it's only the first of many, many, many to come because I am invested in this topic. Um, what? So, so here's some new news for you listeners out there. Where? Um, how many episodes do we have left this season, Tomas? Two, three, only two. two. Only two. two. We only have two left. Yep. So we're going to do two more. We're going to finish out at the end of this month. So we're going to. Um, no, we're going to. Yeah, yeah, we're going to finish out at the end of this month. March. My God, the time is flying by. And we're going to take our hiatus. We're going to come back in the summer for it. Are you ready, people? Doopy deep after dark, where we're going to really, really get into it. So I hope to have the one back with me for some of those episodes. I'm super excited. My goal, my primary goal with the Doopy Deep After Dark episodes is to try to make Tomas as uncomfortable as possible in talking Mm. about sex and sexuality. Nope. That's why my mic. (laughs) 
My mic gets it muted. Check one. My mic gets muted. Check two. <laughs> In case y'all no, haven't noticed, no, no. I'm old school to my heart. <laughs> your heart. To your Which heart. means respectability politics. Mm-hmm. It, it really is mean? because he's so funny because like all it like in theory like all of this like is pro feminist and like women's empowerment yes and I stand by you but to like actually talk about sex and sexuality he'd be like mm-mm, no mm-mm, no no uh-uh. no <clears throat> real talk I'll tell you why that is and I made a joke about men's sexuality workshop but I I do think that's something that is important um, because my f- the work. I've had to do as an openly gay, obviously black man (laughs) and dealing with all of the messages that I've been taught my entire life that I'm less than not good enough. um, All of that. When I talk about certain things, they actually make me angry because I realized that I was sold the bill of goods and I bought it hook, line and sinker and walked around with all this negativity. And then one day I realized I don't have to be this person anymore. Mm. And a part of me makes me a part of that makes me angry sometimes. So I get caught up, as you said earlier, I get in my feelings. So Mm -hmm. I I try to Mm. monitor that. That's why this workshop that you're doing on March 24th is so important because I know there are women out there who are walking around and don't even realize that they've mm-hmm. been sold a bill of goods that they mm-hmm. don't need to walk around with. I yeah. encourage mm-hmm. every woman down yeah. in the Houston area to take a look at this. Go to the website, go to Instagram, go to Facebook, go to Eventbrite, look this up because I'll tell you, this kind of work changes you for the better. And for those afraid that this will challenge their relationship with God, let me be the first one to tell you, it'll make you a better person because I have a better relationship with God today than I did when I thought that I was living in sin and didn't deserve Mm -hmm. and wasn't worthy. Yeah, because you can come you come to the world as your full and complete self. So you can come, you can evolve in your spirituality as your full and complete self. Oh my gosh, I've had so much fun. I hate for it to end. I know. I know. It's going to be so much fun um, on Saturday, the 24th at Sex Positive You. Um, again, check us out. If you have questions, you can also drop us a line on our Facebook page. If you're not quite ready to commit, you want to get a little bit more information, we'd be happy to chat with you um, to kind of allay any of your concerns or reservations. If you are all in, um, go to the event Eventbrite bright page and register today register for you bring a friend bring a sister bring a cousin we all know somebody who could benefit from this continued conversation um we will be back here next week same time same bat channel um oh my gosh what do we talk about next week tomas i don't know hmm you gotta come up i gotta think about what we should talk well, about you, if you, i was gonna say you're the host this is be deep with <laughs> dr nikki <laughs> So, <laughs> I got so caught up in this week's episode. I'm not even thinking about next week. If you have right, ideas or things, <laughs> things you want us to talk about on the show, please tweet me at Dr. Nikki Knows. That's Dr. N I K K I K N O W S. We'd love to hear back from you. Have a great rest of the day or evening or whenever you may be listening to us and we hope you come back to us next Friday 12:30 p.m. Central Standard Time 1:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time peace <laughs>